Yo, what's going on guys, Bobby here, and today we got another dope video for you guys. So today what we're gonna be doing is talking about the meta. Now, I released a video yesterday that was the top five brawlers in the current meta, and we actually kind of covered the top eight because we did a few honorable mentions, and a lot of you guys asked, so what is the actual meta right now? What type of composition is really good? What type of composition do you not want to play? And it's actually fairly interesting because there's actually two meta type of different styles of playing right now, and it hasn't really been like this. There's always really been one dominant play style, dependent on the balance changes, etc., etc. Um, but right now there isn't really something like that. There's two dominant play styles. One of them does counter the other. Um, one of them is a lot stronger than the other, um, even though it might not appear that way. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to dive into the two metas. We're going we're to explain how to play both, which one counters which, the brawlers to use, the game modes. We're just going to dive into it and basically show you guys what to run on ladder and how to win in every single mode. So let's hop into the games and let's talk about what exactly I am talking about. Let's head into it. So hopping into the first game here, the first type of meta play style that we're gonna be talking about is double tank Poco. Now this is very good. Um, this was actually meta during the 2019 World Cup. You guys saw a lot of Asian teams running comps like this in every single mode, which is actually really interesting because it's not really good in every single mode, but they kind of made it work. So what is tank heal? It's very simple. Just a couple tanks, play with a Poco, and you guys are going to see really, really good results. So let's talk about brawlers that you could play in this. Now, I'm going to list the tanks in order from what I suggest playing the most to the least. So number one, I'm going to have Daryl. And the reason I have Daryl in this comp is just because he's the least tank out of the, out of the ones that I'm about to name. So he has like the least kind of attributes. You know, he has some good range, especially with his role. He's got two good star power, so you guys can play to the play style that you guys want. Um, and he kind of diversifies the comp a little bit. Then we have Frank, Rosa, Primo, um, and then Bull. I wouldn't recommend using Bull unless you're playing Siege or Heist because Bull is just not good in anything else. And then um, besides that, we have Carl with second star power and Shelly. Now, Carl with second star power is actually really strong, as you're going to see in some games um, coming up. And then we have Shelly. And then obviously to top it off, you got to have the Poco in these comps. Now, this is really good, as you guys can see right now. Just too much HP for the opposing team to deal with. It's really hard to beat a comp like this. Um, what mode is a comp like this good in? Its strongest mode by far is Brawl Ball. Um, Brawl Ball 100% is the mode where you guys want to play double tank heal. It's just way too strong, and especially on a map like this that has a lot of walls. Uh, not right now because they're kind of all broken, but it's just really easy to move up. Push the other team back and just do a ton of damage. So this game is over. Uh, let's hop into the next game and let's continue talking about double tank Poco. So other modes you can play it in is Siege. Um, I wouldn't really recommend it too much in Siege, especially the Poco. Double Tank could work, but you're going to throw like Double Tank Barley or Double Tank Tick or something like that. Um, so it's more or less just the Double Tank Strat instead of the Double Tank Heal. Um, you could use it in a couple Gem Grab maps, and ones that have walls that you can kind of make your way up really easily, such as Secret Surprise, and a couple of Heist maps you can also use this in, but I wouldn't recommend using the Poco. Again, you could go like Double Tank Nita, Double Tank M's, Double Tank 8-Bit, Double Tank Thrower, something along those lines. So the best combinations, again, I would highly recommend using Daryl in basically all the comps. Um, Frank is also someone that I really like to use in double tank just because he's kind of he's the most tankiest out of the tank He represents tank the most so the most HP kind of the most power when it comes to one super he can change the game with one super he really Shows off what a tank could actually be um, Additionally with Daryl Daryl has two star powers so rolling reload and his new one that actually got a really crazy change it went from 30% uh, shield uh, over 2.5 seconds to 90% shield over uh, 0.9 so that does technically help more that does technically give you more shield but also you get it during the roll which is when people hit you the least so it might actually not be as effective but either way you guys can play daryl however you want which is why i recommend using daryl the most when it comes to comps like this let's hop into the next game and continue talking so what is the most important piece of this comp now by far the most important thing is having a good poco now poco is incredibly instrumental in this comp um, tanks are always going to be tanks. They're always going to go up. Um, unless you have a really good tank player, they're going to go up. They're going to die. They're going to do whatever. Um, but a Poco player is really what separates this comp from being really good to really, really amazing. Things you guys can do with Poco um, that can separate you from other Pocos and playing better is trying to get maximum value out of your shots. So what I mean by this is trying to 
if, use the De capo first of all that is one of the most broken star powers in the game heals your teammates for 700 it used to be 800 but they did an emergency balance change on it because it was way too strong um try and hit your your teammates and the enemies at the same time so you're going to use your heal and your damage at the same time it actually does a ton of work try and hit two enemies at the same time at the same time try and never have three shots you can always do something you guys can always shoot at them you can always heal your teammates so try and never hold three shots with your poco and obviously just stay up and try and use your heal wisely having a good poco is really important when it comes to these comps um it doesn't necessarily super hard carry but if you have a good poco it makes this comp almost unbeatable unless you're running the other type of meta which we're about to get in so let's talk about that meta uh, let's talk about that playstyle. let's hop into the games and let's show you guys what it is so the next playstyle we're going to talk about is control so what is control so basically in brawl stars there well there was a triangle i actually think it's kind of like a square now but we're going to dive into that um kind of in the next what is the meta how to break down the meta type of video um, there, there was a triangle basically, um, there was range, tank, and control. And what basically control is, is it's very strong, it does well against other control comps obviously, it kind of goes equal, but it also counters tank. And now this is obviously extremely important because the other meta right now going on is the tank meta. So what are some brawlers that you can play in control? So you have Sandy, Tara, Mr. P, Gene, Nita, Penny, Ems, Bo, Spike, and Tick. Those are all brawlers that are really, really good to play control in. And if you didn't notice, five out of the eight brawlers that were in yesterday's video when I talked about the top brawlers in the current meta are control brawlers. Now, you guys might think, you know, if five of the eight brawlers are control brawlers and only one of them are tank, then how's the tank meta also a thing? Well, the reason that the control um, has five of the eight is because outside of it being a really strong brawler, it is also equal to other brawlers in the meta or counters the other brawlers in the meta so it doesn't really have a weak spot the reason that the tanks aren't up there even though that they're still a good playstyle meta is because that the tanks actually get countered um by the other brawlers that are in the meta such as spike sandy tara um etc so that is why that the tanks aren't in the top eight outside of frank and that the control brawlers are so what mode is control brawlers best in so it's actually really weird because tank meta is definitely by far the strongest in brawl ball ladder brawl ball is definitely played by far the most so brawl ball is the most impactful mode um and control actually is really good in brawl ball, but i wouldn't necessarily say it is the best there so i would highly highly recommend using control comps in gem grab brawl ball would probably be the second tier or the second uh mode that i would recommend using it in gem grab by far though the first one um, but you can technically play it and do well in all of the modes It's fairly effective in heist and as well in siege and in bounty It's okay, but I wouldn't really recommend using that because bounty as you guys know is more of a range type of thing um, But basically Gem grab is the way to go if you guys want to push trophies really easily just roll control on gem grabbing you guys are gonna have a really easy time um, basically the goal of control is just to kind of work the game. It takes a little bit to get into it, but once you get, you know, your penny turret, your gene pole, your Tara pole, your Nita bear, um, you kind of just unload and you start to, start to kind of take control. The other team keeps getting pushed back. They keep dying, keep coming, you keep charging your super. And that's really when you have full control of the game, thus the name control comp. Um, it's really hard to get control from a control comp after so as you guys can see this comp is pushed back really really far they don't have supers we have our penny turret our uh, spike uh super our gene super and it's really difficult for them to move up because control comps are just really hard to get back control from so anyways that's gonna be it for the gem portion let's hop into the next mode that we can show it off in you guys have seen a video like this actually so let's hop into the next mode and let's show you guys exactly what it is so the next mode we're gonna be showing off control comp is heist um these comps were on ladder i would show you guys a siege uh, map but currently it is not on ladder so i can't record it for you guys right now um so what are the best combinations when it comes to control comps so something i would use in basically all control comps is a sandy sandy kind of just has that all around type of thing he can be good at offense good at defense on heist he can be a gem carrier even he can be a good lane he can be good against tanks sandy's kind of just like the best kind of all around you can always figure it out and obviously his super is amazing i would probably always use one of gene or tara so you have that big play effect so in gems say you're losing nine to nothing um a tara pull or sorry a tara super or a gene pull can obviously change the game and in brawl ball obviously it's really good just to consistently have control um in heist you don't you don't really need to use a gene or a tara because both of those brawlers are kind of irrelevant in heist 
Um, so outside of Sandy, I'd recommend using Mr. P a lot because he's a mix of broken and annoying, has really good control. His super is obviously control based. The star powers are based off control and he is just really good at obviously holding control of a map. And then you guys can use like a high damage such as M's or Spike to hold lane if you're facing like good tanks or something. But anyways, that's going to be the heist. You guys saw us run over heist. You guys saw us run over gem. Let's hop into our final game. Let's show you guys a really good Brawl game against a tank comp. We'll talk over it and we'll talk about our final points about this video. So over here, we're going to be playing a control comp actually against the tank comp. So you guys can see both of them in action. And this game actually really well represented how tank versus control works. So... Um, the most important part about the control comp playstyle is to keep your distance. You guys saw that the Rosa and the, um, and the Primo actually got way too close to us. So we actually went down. Jason actually played really well this game. M's obviously, as I said, with the control brawlers does really well against tank comp. So obviously have one of that, you know, tank kind of stoppers if you're playing brawl ball with control. But... Um, how to play this how to play this type of comp is to keep your distance so you guys saw us fail that and let them get their supers and let them come close but as the game progresses you guys are going to see us keeping our distance way more um, so keeping your distance is obviously really important because the tanks won't be allowed to get their super but we are going to be able to get our super and constantly just rotate it and push them back as you guys are going to see throughout the rest of this game um, what would i recommend now this is the tough part this is the hard question to ask the comp that I would recommend in the playstyle that I would recommend. So I would highly recommend using control on gem grab no matter the trophies. Um, when it comes to heist, I would consider using tanks if you're at lower trophies, but the higher up you go, the more you want to use control because the more smart players are, um, the more organization there is, there's going to be at high trophies and just the more difficult matchups and control is definitely really good against those difficult matchups. Um, when it comes to Siege, I would definitely recommend using the tanks more just because tanks are really good at offense and really good at defense. But instead of using double tank heal, like I said earlier, use double tank tick, double tank barley, something along the lines of that. Um, but when it comes to actual trophies, if you're lower down somewhere towards like zero cups to like 14 or 15k, just use double tank poco, double tank heal, double tank thrower and just constantly just push through teams absolutely destroy teams because it's going to be really easy for you to do so once you reach kind of that mid mid kind of level of 15k to like 17 or 18k this is when you want to start integrating more control um but still playing towards the strength so using uh tanks and brawl ball but control in gem grab or other game modes and then once you reach the higher up trophy so about 22k and above you guys want to use just solely control unless it's a map such as this sunny soccer where tanks just absolutely destroy so you guys can use something like this so control comps actually do counter tank comps so we use control in competitive um basically everything in competitive these days is control but that's just because range is the only thing that can counter control and range is so far out of meta and it has been for such a long time that control has just been a permanent meta in competitive brawl stars you might see some tanks sometimes but control beats tanks so you're always going to be seeing control and competitive and that's what's going to beat everything else so i would highly recommend using control if i were you guys but again use tanks tanks are another meta but control is going to be the dominant one if you face each other so over here you guys saw this is a really fantastic game um, to show you guys that control does do a really good job against double tank once you play it correctly We had a really good job went into overtime and ended up taking the win against a really good team But anyways, that's gonna be the video. So let me know in the comment section what you guys prefer when it comes to tank or control um, Personally, I like a lot of the control brawlers a little bit more But tank meta obviously is really fun and really effective So let me know in the comment section below what you guys like that's gonna be it for today's video Hope you guys enjoyed and again remember come around to the premieres They're awesome. I interact with all of you guys you guys can ask whatever questions you want they all get answered every single one by either me or a moderator so anyways that's gonna be it i will catch you guys again tomorrow see you guys then peace